Hey right guys, Trish Mudges Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of Invincible Season 2. I have an ulcer right here, like right at the bottom of my gum. So if I open my mouth too much, it really starts to sting. So I'm going to try to be extra chill and not really move my face too much <laughs> today and tomorrow probably. Because yesterday it was like really bad, I couldn't even film anything. But I feel like I can probably get through through this episode of Invincible, but... Uh, it might be a bit painful and a bit stingy. So wish me luck, but episode two, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel. And Patreon will be linked down below if you do want to join us over on there. But for now, let's do this. It's been an honor, sir. Yeah, someone pointed out on YouTube, which I didn't even think of, that the fact Donald is alive could hint that this is actually a different timeline to the one we saw in season one, obviously. Because... There's no way Donald's alive. Seriously gonna miss his own graduation, is he? He's just running a little late. This is why I quit superheroing. Quit superheroing, did she? He'll be here. You promise. Look at you! You're thieves! Ah, uh, after we're dealing with him. Criminals! All so ignorant of your... Well, these people specifically. Do you know what this obscene phallus is constructed from? He asked, expecting some idiotic answer. Uh... Granite! Stolen from the earth! Iron ripped from her loins! Bricks made of Preach the clay it. she bleeds from humanity's endless ruinations! Isn't that most buildings? Well... <laughs> you can keep the ones made of wood. Everything else, we're taking back! This guy thinks he's, like, actually gonna have a chance. Oh. I made a few new friends during my time underground. They look like something you'd find in God of War. Huh? Watch him get absolutely destroyed, as in Mark again. Oh, we got our. Oh no, barely. Starting the episode with Mark getting obliterated. Greatest heroes are useless against the power of Dark! Oh, yeah. Nice. That monument's done, though, so rip to that. Abraham Lincoln once said, Whatever you are, be a good one. Did he, though? Oh. Did he really say that? <laughs> it doesn't sound very Lincoln y. Fair enough. Francis <laughs> Clockwell. I'd say it's been fun, but you know, high school. Words to die by. Yeah! Wow, a show where they left high school in season two and not season three like every other show. Be original. Be. Yep. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna find the trashiest reality show I've never heard of and binge every mm. episode twice. He knows how to spend his two months. I'm uh, gonna go help finish the reconstruction up in Chicago. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that weird for you or to... No, that's... that's amazing. Oh, right, yeah, because of Omni-Man. So why would Mark care? Oh, right, yeah. That's probably one of those traumatizing moments of his life. <laughs> God, I love having superhero friends. I mean, Eve specifically. Mark mm. won't even take me flying anymore. Understandable. His. Here. What's this? That's such a cool Virgin power. It'd be so Mike handy. High. Just whatever you want, whenever you want, Don. Very funny. <laughs> You're talking about starting an interplanetary war. Hmm. Livingston. Is Livingston the one who got corrupted? I think I know anything about Martians. Is that how you say it? Martians? I, um, I have to visit uh, uh, the okay. urination chamber. <laughs> the urination chamber, like, bro. Get a grip. You are a smart Earth astronaut. There it is. God, we're dealing with uh, a ton of the ex-villains. Everything's okay, yeah. Sorry, how long have you been standing there? Not that it matters, because I have nothing to hide. There's no way they don't know. This is the U.S. Space Administration. Not therapy. Oh, oh God. Spare me! 
I won't fail you again. I swear on my three chambered heart. Just please do not stab all three of them. Oh, I can't feel bad for him now. He's dressed like he belongs in Fallout 4. <laughs> this should be easy. Chicago should be back to normal in about an hour. I mean, she might get exhausted based on that took a lot of energy off her. Do it. You scared the piss out of my entire crew. I'm just trying to help. How do I know that's the code? Mm. You know what? Mm. Go stuff your coat up your ass. I live in that building. That's and right. if it was up to the bureaucrats, we'd be sleeping in high school gyms until Labor Day. Tell them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time someone cut through all the red tape and did something instead of just talking about it. Yes, Eve. Mess? Six years. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, but unless you know somebody, good luck. I thought she was trying to say the Chicago stuff happened six years ago. I was like, no. But she's not about the park next to it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Wow. Hey, Mom. No, Flattering no, photo of a mom there. Great. Actually, I was just thinking about you and... Dad's Something dead. Wrong? I found some crazy deals online. I'm, I'm thinking beach trip. You and me. Oh, hell yeah. Somewhere tropical. Seriously? Call it a graduation present. Well, he's like, I'm on call. I can't do it. You're a good person. No one thinks you're going to turn out like your father. But then why would you even say it? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Mark, I need you. You can't God. turn your back on her, bro. What? I have to go. Mark, wait. Oh, she's going to be lonely for the whole episode. This is going to be upsetting. <laughs> Kate, is that you? I don't... I've got a boo boo that could use some duplicates. I don't think she's inviting you in there, bro, but it's fine. We are not dating. And second, that's inappropriate language for the workplace. So kiss your own boo boo. You shitting me? Who is it? You goddamn oh. geriatric hypocrite. <laughs> this is none of your business. Okay. You and I were never a thing. The immortal and I are. Deal with it. I guess. Kate. As two of the women in this show that he's lost now, he's doing well. While taking on bigger threats was part of his job as a guardian, Martian men always made time to help first responders on the scene. With his <laughs> gentle nature. That feels like that would take so long to set up that trampoline. I always found his inspiration. <laughs> and he's gonna die, isn't he, or something? What the hell? I mean, it's cursed. He cursed a whole city. Darkness. It's Gotham, man, basically. The dark side of the moon. <laughs> weird. Kinda cool. <laughs> Let me know when you're done hmm. playing tourist. <laughs> Have they not wanted to take this city back, or can they not reverse it, I guess? Help me make sure scum like you never hurt another innocent person again. This is... I <laughs> But this is Gotham, isn't it, basically? Killed by your father, Invincible. Which is why I carry on his work. I was Night Boy, his assistant. Assistant? What, you mean sidekick? We don't use that term. Ah, okay. It's degrading. <coughs> okay, bring him in. He's lost it. You think? You hear them too? Huh? Voices. Oh, he's got voices in his head. That's cool. Hey, man. I said I felt that punch. I didn't say it hurt. Oh, he's actually going to wreck him. Mark's going to get bullied yet again. Welcome to the Shadowverse. The Shadowverse? I'm saving the world from Omni-Man's son. Hey, don't call me that. Let go! Well, the Shadowverse is doing wonders for you. Hmm. Guess who they'll eat first. Was it worth it? There. I let go of You're never leaving <laughs> one minute later. And he's not your 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 soldier. You can't just order him around. Well, at least he follows orders. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. He keeps doing it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's like Oh, you keep bringing up Omni Man more than anyone else. And he calls the shots. You have my word. Sir, the Mars file you requested. Donald, you suspicious being. D Donald? Debbie. Oh, maybe they just bought him in from another... Or he's got powers as well. Yeah, maybe maybe it's all different. It's Donald. 
because she remembers him being dead. Huh. I wonder what that was about. Okay, I think they probably bought him in from another universe. Or he gets like reincarnated and can't die. It's something like that. The Donald verse. Samantha? Dad? What are you doing in a Burger Mart shirt? It's called an honest day's work. Oh, right, right, right. For 20 years. Until you people turned the Chicago corporate office into a pile of rubble. Oh, God, why didn't you tell me? Maybe you should have asked instead of flying off to God knows where doing God. Oh, yeah, maybe you should ask about you, the worst person in the show. All right. You don't have to work some minimum wage job like a teenager. I can give you and mom whatever you want. I've provided for this family longer than you've been alive. Ah, uh, yes, they're doing a great job at it. <laughs> there, 24 carat. You can sell this. And... Turn it back. Ugh, you're being stubborn for no reason. I would take that and sell it in an instant. But no, he's got to provide for the family. I have to run. The Times wants to interview me about my work in Chicago. I will visit in a few days to check in and make dad sell this pie. There's this great Thai place down the street. Uh, I had somewhere else in mind. Italy. Oh, where, where are they off to? I said I'd be back at 1.30. You brought me to Paris? Sort of. Is that a casino? Oh, Las Vegas. Can I kiss you anyway? Hmm. Does anyone shut these an a two? For effort. I feel like this is like starter relationship. Mark, I need you. Uh, Give me a sec. <sighs> Dinner tonight instead. Well, that was <sighs> fun. Great date. Go save the world, Invincible. I love how dramatic season is. Like, why is he here? I can't marry a fish. I have a girlfriend. Relax. Strictly symbolic. All you have to do is go through the ceremony. Maybe sure, sure, kiss sure. the bride, then all is forgiven and everyone moves on. So, Mark's about to marry a fish in Atlantis, is where we're at. Talk to me. It's Throw him under the bus. League, uh, the Lizard the League. <laughs> They've hit a bio-research lab outside of Dallas. Supreme Lizard has seized control in his absence. These are just guys wearing costumes, surely. If they can't take down the Lizard League, they'll never be ready. That's right. <laughs> I think these guys are just doing cosplay. Who are you? I call me the Shapesmith. Oh, never mind. I thought it was one of the lizards' power. <laughs> this is where Qui-Con Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi ended up in. Huh? We'll address her as your majesty. Uh, yeah, come on, Mark. Right, your majesty. It's an honor to meet you. How's he going to kiss her? I'm very sorry for what my father did, but... Good luck, I guess. Trial by combat! Oh, uh, that's even, even better. Okay, cool. <laughs> you avoided marriage and instead got potential death. It's gonna be tight. I knew it was gonna be. I knew it. I couldn't get the sentence out in time, but... Wait, you want me to fight that? Seems a little unfair. <laughs> it's gonna be OP, watch. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Can I go now? Oh, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> how, how are we here? We're definitely not offering on this place. It's oh, in our right. price range. We like the location. The school's it's too far from the office. Uh, you want me to get home even later? There's excellent local transit. Of course I don't. I just think <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah. When you earn the money, you can decide where we live. She's not your pet. Oh, what was that? Did we mention the spacious garage? Why don't you all go ahead? A reference to Omni Man. Again. She's more like a pet. This wasn't the deal. Huh. I'm pulling you out. Back up some way. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Still has so much to learn. <laughs> Mark again, getting beaten up. How far away is that backup? Incoming. Oh. Now's your chance, get out of there. Well, that's cheating, no? Well, he's made an enemy of Atlantis now. <laughs> All that. Cecil, that thing got loose, it's killing everyone. Well, they should have thought about that before they brought it home from the store. <laughs> 
It's a fair point. I'll say this thing deserves to win though. It was destroying him until cheat mode was activated. Still kind of bad for him, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> bad row. That's oh, like Gandalf and the Balrog. <laughs> Why would you do that? We don't want your fake food or your fake gold. <laughs> oh, this guy. Fake. So you wear that what? shirt for fun? I get it. Because I thought that was his like old job shirt, but apparently not. But you gotta get over this stupid man of the house thing. I'm trying to help. Oh, oh, here we oh go. yeah. Go on. Like you help Chicago. Mm. Adam, don't. I mean, she literally is helping Chicago. A whole lot was unstable. That's why the city never built there. Oh. It's a miracle nobody was killed. Okay, no one dies. This is what happens when you think rules Jeez. are just for us <laughs> pathetic normal people. The whole building collapsed. No one died though. I thought it was going to show, like, the in memoriam of the two people uh, she helped. <sighs> I'll just tear it down at this point. You motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, that looks better. <laughs> I like that they're showing Debbie actually struggling with this and not just being like, Oh yeah, that's yeah, alright. Because again, it was 20 years of a life. It was basically a lie. And over here is our training room. Why did they walk? They look walk so goofy though, what the hell? I was born a baby human right here on the planet of Earth. And what? Is this his backstory? Is this something completely different? I got my superpowers in a random industrial accident. <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize it was the same guy. <laughs> you see it in his eyes, though. Human superhero. <laughs> I'm rude for this guy. Am I in? What a backstory. Heated. Yes, it was embarrassing. Yes. Who are these ones again? It was my plan. But we are not a joke. Oh, it's the Lizard League. Okay. Social media says. We are the Lizard League, and we are unstoppable. We're unstoppable. I don't know about that one, bro. We're all hail Supreme Lizard. All hail Supreme I don't know. I don't know if that's happening, bro. Did he just get shot? Yep, he did. Okay. It's going to turn this organization around. It's going to be King Lizard. Any objections? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Some a lizard with a gun, all right. Think of me as an old friend. An old friend who can help you, given your current predicament. Fine. Is this a, this a different universe? Freeze! Who the hell are you? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> me? Uh, I'm not your problem. Cecil and Donald, or Cecilia and Donna. Make him pay for what he did to your world. What? Stop! Hey, you promised you'd help me. Hey, don't leave me here. Hey! God, that's going to get so strange later. They set it up quite early into this season, so I assume it will become more of a thing as the season goes on. But um, yeah, I'm intrigued to see kind of what they do with it. I'm, like I said, I think I said in episode one, I'm kind of bored of the whole multiverse thing, but I think that's more when they're just throwing in random cameos from other shows and other, you know, it's just like, like when The Flash did it. Is like what what are we doing here? But this is a bit different because it's not really showing characters from like other properties. Maybe they'll have Homelander pop up in animation form. I don't really know, but uh, it's just more of the same characters, but just they have different outcomes and different scenarios have happened. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to talk for too long. Cause like I say, sorry, it was the most entertaining reaction. Of my it's just it's just dying inside. Luckily, this wasn't the most entertaining episode, I want to say, so it's not like we missed out on too much. I think this was a fine one. I think the best part about it is kind of seeing um, Debbie and Mark still struggle with what happened with Omni-Man. Uh, we got some more of the previous villains in there and kind of wrapped them up a little bit and got introduced to some more characters, so a bit more set up. I'm not fussed that we haven't seen Omni-Man at all yet. I, I, like I said in the last reaction, I'm happy to wait until 
over halfway through the season, I think, and maybe bring the not bring him back into the main story, but just kind of see what he's up to, maybe kind of thing. Um, but I, I think he could even wait till the end of the season, to be honest. Uh, I think if he's not in the season, people are going to be very disappointed, but I don't think we need him anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, f- fine episode. Mm, nothing amazing in this one. Like I say, he's, it's just kind of more of the same at the moment uh, from the last episode, but that's fine because Invincible's great. So <laughs> keep doing more of the same uh, for a little bit. But yeah, I'll go a, I think just base 7 out of 10. I think it was a good episode overall. And yeah, I'll see you next time for episode 3, guys. Until then, take care. Peace.